Hi guys, Rino Maschir, and today I'll be showing you my top 5 exercises for arm wrestling that I think every arm wrestler should be doing. I got inspired to do this video uh, when I saw Todd Hodgkin's uh, video on this same topic uh, and he showed his uh, top 5 best exercises for arm wrestling. Of course, that is his opinion and I completely respect that. But do I agree with it? I definitely don't uh, because I think there are way better exercises uh, that you can do for arm wrestling that can directly be translated to the table like these five that I'm going to show you today. Uh, and these exercises can quite literally be translated to the table. So you're going to be simulating arm wrestling at its purest form uh, and you're going to be isolating each muscle. So you're not going to do anything through your tendons or something like that so you can forget about uh, too much shoulder pain or elbow pain uh, which is unavoidable uh, realistically but you're always going to have a little bit but this will definitely lower it to the lowest amount that you can have so let me show you so i will be going in an order uh, from the top of my hand to the bottom of my fingers uh, and the first exercise is going to be for your bicep uh, you're going to need a judo belt and you're going to want to attach it to your pulley and set your pulley quite low like I did here. Uh, then you're going to end up with these two loops. Uh, we want to place this knot uh, closer to that uh, little hook that you hooked your judo belt through so it doesn't interfere with the way that we lift uh, and so it doesn't scratch us uh, or so it doesn't feel uncomfortable on our wrist or in our hand. Uh, and you can do this simply by pulling the opposite sides of the judo belt and as you can see now, it's all the way down there. Uh, then you're going to want to take this bottom loop and put it at the bottom of your wrist like so. And the top loop will go right through your hand and you're going to want to place it in the middle of your hand like so. Then you're going to square your shoulders off and set your arm in the middle of the table and do a rocking motion while your hand is locked and your elbow stays in place and it doesn't move. And uh, your body will just do uh, it will just go down under the table. Uh, you're going to do like a squat motion with your legs. So it looks something like this. And we're lifting to a 90 degree angle, not more and not less. In this exercise, there is no flexion of your bicep. So there is no this movement involved. You're constantly locked and going backwards with your whole body, like so. And you might be wondering why are we wrapping the judo belt around our hand and wrist like this and why are we not holding it just in our hand like so? Well, it's because we want to put as little stress on our uh, wrist as we can uh, so it doesn't limit the amount of weight uh, that our bicep can lift and in turn it will make uh, our bicep progress uh, much slower because our bicep won't be working at its maximum it will be limited by uh, the wrist uh, so especially if you use a handle like this one uh, where it's rolling even and you hold it in your hand and you try to lift that will put a lot of stress on your wrist and limit the amount of weight that uh, your bicep can lift and uh, your progress will definitely be slower so that's why we're doing it like so. So the second exercise is going to be for our hammer or as it's more popularly known, back pressure. Uh, this exercise will be done almost identically uh, to the last one that we did. The only difference being is that we're not going to keep our hands supinated, it's going to be pronated. So it simulates a top roll and it activates our hammer. Uh, again, the bottom loop goes on the bottom of our wrist and the top loop goes straight through our hand set your elbow down square your shoulders off and put your hand in the middle of the table and again with a rocking motion lift the weight like so again there is no movement of your hammer like this you're holding it completely static and you're going with your whole body down like this to a 90 degree angle and again, you might be wondering why are we wrapping uh, the judo belt around our hand and wrist like this? Well, it's because to put as little pressure as we can on our riser uh, so it doesn't limit the amount of weight that our hammer can lift uh, as is often the case uh, where the riser will be uh, too weak 
uh, or at least a bit weaker than your hammer and uh, in turn it will lower uh, the amount of weight that your hammer will be able to lift uh, and uh, it will slow down the progress of your hammer and the strengthening of it. So this is again a great alternative that you can do. So the next exercise is going to be for your cup and you're going to be needing a rolling handle like this one. Uh, this is a 60 millimeter handle, uh, but if you don't have this exact handle, uh, it's perfectly fine using a thinner or thicker one. Uh, then you're going to attach it to your pulley and the level of uh, the pulley uh, stays exactly the same as the last two exercises. Then you're going to take it in your hand uh, and I uh, highly recommend you put your thumb over with your fingers like this. Then you're going to set your forearm uh, on the same line as the edge of the, uh, of the pad is here. Then you're going to place your forearm like this and keep your wrist constantly straight and do a cupping motion like so. If you find that your hand is being pulled up like this from the pad, uh, you can always put your body weight on your hand like this or hold it with your other hand and it won't go anywhere while you lift. This exercise is great at strengthening your wrist flexion. So it's not strengthening the holding strength of your wrist or your fingers or anything like that. It's really isolating your wrist and strengthening that flexion so you can cup your opponent as easily as possible. So this next exercise will be for your rising. Uh, and the way that you're going to be doing it is by using two judo belts, one of which we are going to be wrapping around our body. Uh, so is, it isolates our rising and so it doesn't put any pressure on our hammer or our bicep. Uh, so the way that you're going to uh, get the length of this uh, judo belt right is by putting it on your body like so and you're going to want to set it in a way that holds your hand the same way that you would set up on a table as you can see for a top roll so you're going to want to simulate that position and you're going to take your judo belt and wrap it around like so and make a knot like this one so it holds in place and now you have that judo belt ready for this exercise then you're going to want to set your pulley quite high like I did here. Uh, actually it's at the same level as my hand would be if it's standing like this on uh, the pad. Then you're going to take your judo belt and make two loops like we did in the previous exercises and pulling the opposite ends so the, uh, the knot goes lower. Then one, the, the lower loop goes a lower in your hand like so and the top loop goes a bit higher in your hand like so but of course you're going to want to do this uh, when you uh, put your hand through the judo belt that, that is around your body like so then you put it through set your elbow down and now you can do a rocking motion like you did in the first two exercises and keep your riser nice and tight so it doesn't fall down like this it should be high like, like so and there is no motion involved of course we are keeping it completely static all the time that we are pulling and now you can do your rising without uh, putting any stress on your hammer and bicep and it's nice and isolated and this exercise will definitely improve the strength of your rising, I highly recommend that you try it. The only problem that can occur is that you will feel a little bit of pain in your, uh, in your tendons around your wrist, but that is fine. It will go away quite quickly and the pain won't be anything significant that you need to worry about. So the last exercise is going to be for your fingers. Uh, I have already showed this exercise in one of my previous videos, but I'm showing it again because I really do think this is one of the best exercises to strengthen your fingers. Uh, and you're going to just be needing a loading pin and a handle like this one. Uh, this handle is 50 millimeters and I highly recommend that you get this kind of handle uh, because it simulates uh, the way that your fingers are positioned uh, when you're holding someone's hand almost perfectly. Uh, so that's why I highly recommend that you try it with this one. If you don't have it, of course, you can use a thicker one, but this really does help out. So you're going to attach your handle like so and grab with your fingers and straighten your wrist. Don't cup in too much. 
You can cup in a little, but don't do something as significant as this, as the pressure uh, that the handle is putting on your hand is going to be transferred to your cup instead of your fingers. So we don't want to cup in uh, too much or at all. Uh, then you're going to want to stick your thumb out and hold it like so. Hold it lightly, don't pull it when you're lifting the weight. You don't want it to hurt you. It's just so it doesn't go here and help your fingers lift the weight. Uh, and you might think this is insignificant, but I have found it quite significant uh, when it comes to lifting weights. It's much easier when your thumb is over the handle like so. So hold your thumb lightly, don't pull on it and lift the weight off the ground like so. And that is how you do this last exercise. And again, as I have said in the beginning of the video, all of these exercises can be done for strength without you having much pain in your elbows or anywhere really. Uh, but again, uh, pain in arm wrestling is unavoidable, so there will always be a little bit of pain. Uh, but yeah, that is how you train your fingers. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope that you liked my list of the top five best exercises for arm wrestling that every arm wrestler should be doing. Uh, these five exercises are truly the core of this sport and are the fundamentals that everyone should be doing for strength and should be strengthening to, in general, be a better arm wrestler. Uh, if you agree or disagree, or if you have a suggestion for a video that you want me uh, to do, leave a comment below, I'll be reading them all. Uh, and if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe, it really does help the channel out. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye.